We're marching. We're at Newcastle, Australia today. We're marching for our freedoms. Here we are in Australia. It's teeming down rain. There are thousands here in Newcastle. It's immense. The people are coming together. All walks, all races, all peoples, young and old. They're chanting, they're cheering, they're here. There are speakers coming from everywhere. Congratulations, Australia, you're out. You're working now for the people and for the world in what is the Great Awakening, and it is the Great Purge. And we're here in front of the world, making our stance as we do it to change this planet once and for all, to take back from the tyranny that is this horrific world that we've become under false pretenses, using experimental technology by leaders who are selling medicine that aren't even doctors. We're not buying it anymore, we're not taking it anymore, and we're here to protest along with the world with thousands of people in Newcastle. As you can see, all around us, we're here today. Keep reporting as we go. Look out on World Series News for more updates. Thank you, Fiona. Thanks, Newcastle. Last week in Sydney, we had 100,000 people. It looks like in Newcastle today, we got over 5,000, maybe more. Well done. In my hand here is a freedom of information request to the TGA. And it inquired as to what data that organization looked at before granting provisional approval for the Pfizer vaccine. And I quote, the TGA does not hold individual level patient data in relation to application for provisional represent registration. They didn't look at a thing. They took the FDA's guidance, which makes them non-independent. The head of the TGA is a Professor John Skerritt. He's not a medical doctor. Can you believe it? The head of the World Health Organization, to whom all world governments are subservient to, Dr. Tedros, is not a medical doctor. He's a PhD who wrote a paper on malaria in dams in northern Ethiopia and three times covered up cholera outbreaks in his home country of Ethiopia. These are the clowns that they put in charge of the world's health. And Bill Gates. We all know about Bill Gates. The vaccine czar who waves his hands around and tells you that you have to get a passport to be safe from a COVID vaccine created in a lab about the same time as the COVID, it turns out, was also created in a lab in Wuhan, China. And we are not stupid people, are we? Did you know that in Australia, if you're of working age under 70 and you catch COVID, regardless of your comorbidities or your health status, you have a 499 out of 500 chance of survival. That's a fact and you can check it out on health.gov.au and while you're at it, send an email to the Federal Health Minister, Greg Hunt, and ask him why he didn't bother checking with Skerritt when he pre-approved the Pfizer jab without even bothering. Now, just to end this quick chat to all of you, I just want to do a comparison between Australia and Nigeria, just so you get some perspective. Australia has 26 million people, Nigeria has 216 million people. We've had 1,978 COVID deaths, and little, well, big Nigeria's had 2,970. We've had 47 million tests, they've had three and a half million tests. Our GDP per capita is $70,000 a year. Theirs is $3,500. We are sitting at 85% double jabbed. They're sitting at 3%. So it pays to look at the numbers. Check out worldometers.info if you want to get started. 
It's not hard to read the numbers, but you're all here because you already trust your gut and you already know what you know. But we are an army building of people choosing peace. Just before I came on, I was on a live broadcast with Sasha Stone, if anybody knows who he is. The subject was genocide in Australia and five people from the indigenous community, including David Cole, were on it. David reported that from the Northern Territory, the funeral parlours are so full they can't bury the people quick enough. This is from the jab. It's not from the virus because they told us only nine people in Darwin have got it. So we know what we know and it's time that we continue to build these numbers and it's the only way that we get to take it back. But the Great Awakening is also the Great Purge. And unfortunately, we're going to have to ride it out the way that we do. But look at us here. Planet Earth is watching us live right now. You're all being watched in a way. So if you can put your hands up and rise to the heart.